In this video guys, we're gonna be testing Razer Soft Miner, which is a mining software that lets you earn Razer coins that then can be traded for Razer mice and keyboards. Now the question is, is it worth it and is it something you should be investing your time in? Let's have a look at it. Hey, how's it going guys? It's Robin here on RBN Hardware, bringing you the latest PC tech and hardware. I also do product reviews and I even test keyboards and mice once in a while and so if you're interested in that, yeah, definitely subscribe and don't forget to tap the notification bell so that you don't miss out on upcoming contents now before we go any further here guys i want to know in the comments below have you ever tried mining before now razer is launching a new program called razer soft miner and as the name is hinting is a mining software that is intended to be installed on computers and run to mine cryptocurrency when you're afk or away from your keyboard now unlike regular crypto mining where you simply select a currency you want to mine for for, and after you've been collecting some you can simply trade it in for cash in this case you don't get any real cryptocurrency at all here what Razer is offering you is their own currency called Razer Silver loyalty reward credits as a token for their appreciation basically this currency can then be spent to buy apparel gift cards games and Razer peripherals such as mechanical keyboards such as the Huntsman Elite for example and the Death other essential now it sounds great on paper but is it really worth it before mining started to get the massive traction it eventually got and before it really became that popular the math problems to solve by your graphics cards wasn't that complex and so back then when it all started it was actually possible to make a few bucks from just mining using your own desktop gaming pc basically now cryptocurrencies has since then rapidly rapidly expanded and as it became more popular and more and more people got involved into it so has the complexity of the math problems that the network is asked for you to solve as well that essentially means it can become unprofitable to keep mining as the network demands more work for the reward and so the age when home computers were able to generate most cryptocurrencies at any scale or at any profit is on its way out by now now this is where razer soft miner comes in now instead of offer real cryptocurrency you earn razer coin that basically can be traded for stuff in the razer store now how does this razer miner software work you may ask so let's have a look at razer.com and see what they're saying so when your computer is idling the razer soft miner desktop application utilizes your idle gpu processing power to supplement distributed networks needs for the mining process and you will be rewarded with razer silver which varies depending on the amount of idle time and strength of your hardware or graphics card by the way guys out of curiosity would you be okay with a software like this one running in the background of your computer <laughs> let me know in the comments so you basically trade a bit of your computer power when it's not being used for mechanical keyboards and mice it sounds like a great deal right right spoiler guys wait until you see the prices i've been digging a bit here and it turns out that the tech behind the software is powered by gamma technology that rewards you and basically gives you points that can be spent in their online store in exchange for letting them use their gpu power for mining crypto seas. so this is a collaboration between gamma and razer basically so let's say you want to jump on this program what can you expect to earn a day and how long does it take you to buy any of these uh, cool accessories so Razer is stating that with a proper setup an AMD RX 460 or a GTX 1050 you should be able to collect 500 Razer silver coins a day that also means that you need to stay away from your computer a whole day which is by the way something that I never think 
I have ever managed to do. Anyway, I decided I wanted to test this out. So I went over to Razer's site to uh, download the software. And after starting the soft miner up, the software asked me for some sort of initial benchmark to uh, figure out the best settings for me. Anyways, it turns out that on my Ryzen 2400G, I couldn't even get the benchmark to finish. Somehow, uh, the, the benchmark simply crashes in the middle of it and no erroring message whatsoever i have been trying different graphics drivers but it simply won't run on my ryzen 2400g now on my other gaming setup i was actually able to make it through the initial benchmark testing phase and yeah i was able to actually start mining i was excited to finally get into mining and to be honest guys i couldn't wait to actually go on to twitter and start bragging about my success here i was filled with excitement and once again I felt like a silly schoolgirl, and I haven't felt like that in a good while now so anyway so I got a Ryzen 1700 overclock to 3.5 gigahertz so I got 16 gigabytes of RAM running in 3000 megahertz and a single GTX 970 and I was getting about three silver coins every 10 minutes that simply means that every hour I would generate about 18 silvers or so if I decide to actually go offline and stay AFK a whole day which has probably never happened to me that would generate about 432 silver coins so that means a little bit less than what Razer was calculating on a GTX 1050 would generate a day now let's have a look at the store and see what they're offering us so to claim a death adder essential for example you need 51k silver coins and that means with my GTX 970 it would take me about 180 days of constant mining and constant being afk now imagine what great deal this must be for the company though right let's just hypothetically assume that we all have the gpu power to uh, meet what the racer is calling a proper setup here you will earn 500 silver a day and if we take a look at the store let's say we want to get the death adder essential again for free we have to earn 51k razor silver currency now 51k divided by 500 equals 102 days and so it will still take you 102 days of constant mining but wait up a moment let's say you want to get the holy grail right the huntsman elite keyboard now in razor silver that one will cost you 280,000 and so if you're let's say very very dedicated you can unlock this one in 560 days but keep in mind you have to spend your currency within 12 month period otherwise they will disappear so in order to unlock this one you have to get razor coins from somewhere else because crypto mining alone isn't going to help you out here and this is because razor wants you to invest more time in their system because razor silver is part of a larger service ecosystem whereby the user can earn more Razer silver by purchasing with Razer gold, being active in the Razer community by being an insider, playing games by using Cortex or engaging with other partner programs such as the Mughal Arena for example. So Razer is saying that the software is more about the sum of the parts than just earning with just Razer soft miner alone. But again basically what they're saying invest more time in our company and you will get even more coins and on top of this because it gets even worse guys the agreement users sign up on installing the software suggests that Razer has total control over the utility of Razer Silver and can invalidate or refuse to accept it at any time and on top of that we haven't even thought about the power bill you will get from 24-7 mining and yeah the obvious wear and tear on your PC components in the long run from mining your graphics card at 100% which is by the way what Razer is saying that the software is aimed to do so, so guys guys conclusion time don't even think about this it is not worth it instead spend your time playing games instead it will keep you much happier I guarantee you now Tom McKay on Gizmondo even did the calculations and even though 
after paying power bills etc he came to the conclusion that running soft miner gets you at best a couple of cents towards a purchase per day uh, when your power bills are factored in and yeah that's probably being generous as well now guys i want to know again did you ever try mining before it started to scale when it was still profitable i remember i did i had some good times anyway I want to get back and play games. I don't want to waste my graphics card, mining, mathematical, mumbo jumbo. I want to play games. Now, I'm going to be back with a brand new video tomorrow. Until then, guys, have an awesome day, alright? Bye.